so hey everyone welcome back to the channel in this video we will be solving the problem top k numbers in a string so let's read the problem statement out so we are given n numbers in an array our task is to keep at most the top k numbers with respect to their frequency now in other words you have to iterate over the array and after each index determine the top k most frequent numbers until that iteration and store them in an array in decreasing order of frequency an array will be found for each iteration and stored in an array of arrays if the total number of distinct elements is less than k then keep all the distinct numbers in the array if two numbers have equal frequency place the smaller number first for example if you see this input 5 2 1 3 2 so for the first iteration we have only 5 so our output is 5 now for 5 and 2 both are having the same frequency so we will keep 2 first since it is smaller and then 5 again for the third iteration 5 to 1 so 1 is smallest so it will be put first then 2 then 5 then again in 5 to 1 and 3 it will be arranged in a ascending order 1 2 3 5 again 2 comes and 2 has now greater frequency so 2 should appear first right so this is going to be your output for this problem and i hope you have understood the problem let's discuss this problem in more detail so our input was 5 to 1 3 2 now for the first iteration we have 5 so when we need to store the frequencies the first thing that comes to our mind is map so let's take a map of type int comma int and which is let's name it as m now for the first iteration you will iterate via for loop so for i equal to 0 till i is less than n i plus plus now you will store this in the map so our map will now contain 5 with a frequency 1 now what you need to do you need to have those number first whose frequency is higher so for that what we can do we can store these pairs in a temporary vector so what we will do we will store 5 with a frequency 1 in a temporary ve vector okay now let's sort this since we are having only one element so in this case we will be having 5 only and we will now again create a temporary vector from this pair of vector so this will be nothing but pair of int int type vector right now we want our answer to be of type vector of vector of int so for that we will need to create a vector of int so let's create a another vector out of this and let's put 5 into it and we will push this and now we will push this into our answer right so our now answer vector contains 5 again 2 comes up so 5 and 2 are there now both are having frequency 1 so in those scenarios where frequency is equal what we will do we will keep the smallest element first so i will so we will see the code for this how can we do this okay in a while so now that will be arranged and 5 will have the frequency of 1 in our temporary vector and Two will have a frequency one in our temporary vector and we will sort it so our temporary vector will contain two comma one and five comma one now what we will do we will again create a vector two comma five out of this and we will put this into our answer vector so answer vector first it contains five as a vector and now it will contain two five right now again one comes up we will do the same type of operation and we will put 1 2 and 5 now here 3 comes up we will do this operation again and we have 1 2 3 and 5 now 2 comes up again now in those cases where the frequency of the second element is higher we will sort it according to the frequency so 2 comes up first and then 1 3 and 5 so our answer vector will look something like this and this is what is needed according to the problem now how to sort this vector according to the given condition so so when we need to sort a vector according to some given condition we pass 
a comparator in the sort method so you see our sorting method so generally we pass v dot begin v dot end in order to sort that array into a ascending order but here we need to specifically sort this according to some conditions which is the higher element or the element which is having higher frequency should appear first so we will make this method and it will be a boolean type and it will and it will accept two parameters basically this vector is of type pair of int command so a comparator will accept two parameters of type pair of int comma int let's say a and pair of int comma int let's say b now out of this pair what we can check if our second element which is storing the frequency so if a dot second is greater than b dot second means we need to return a dot second okay so what it will do it will return that element first which is having a higher frequency else if both of them are equal so a dot sec so we need to return whichever is lesser so first pair ka first hamara contain karta hai element है ना तो जो भी छोटा होगा हम उसे रिटर्न कर देंगे ओके सो आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दिस कंपैरेटर मेथड एज वेल सो लेट्स सी द कोड सो दैट यू गेट मोर क्लैरिटी सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई हैव टेकन अ मैप ऑफ int कॉमा int नाउ वी हैव टेकन अ वेक्टर ऑफ वेक्टर ऑफ int आंसर नाउ वी विल इटरेट ऑन द एरे एंड दिस इज अ कॉर्नर केस ओके डोंट फोकस मच ऑन दिस so first of all we will be storing the frequency now we will be taking a pair of int and type vector and this is our current vector okay so whatever be this b we will take out the elements out of this v into current and we will push back that current into our answer vector so now we will iterate on our map and since uh, the elements inside the map is out type of pair so we can directly push that into our vector v and we will sort it according to the comparator method so here if the frequency of both the elements are equal we will return that element first which is lesser okay so that's why we are returning a dot first is less than b dot first otherwise if the frequency of one element is higher we will return that first so a dot second is greater than b dot second so this will sort our vector of type pair of int comma int now according to the problem it is written that if the size of the vector is less than k we need to return those elements so if b dot size is less than k we will iterate on b dot size and we will push that like the element into our current vector and otherwise we will push all the elements which is there so per dot push back b of i dot first and finally we can push that into our answer vector and in this way we can return our answer but there is a disclaimer this code was not getting accepted on the geeks for geeks portal because when i try to provide this custom input and try to run this code so this is giving the correct answer but when i try to submit the same code again so it is giving the wrong answer on the same test case let's for let's wait for some time and let's see well i still made this video because it's an important problem from company's perspective this problem can also be solved using priority queues so this is important to learn so that's why we can use this method in order to do this work generally the problem is asked in the form of like basically we need to find the top k frequent numbers but here the thing was that we need to do this for every iteration so that's why this code is like little bit larger but otherwise it can be done in three four lines using priority queues so i hope you have understood the problem if you have any doubts write it down in the comments like this video if you have understood share among your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching